And yes, we're still on physiology. Two things, depression and physical fitness, are they related? Yes. In study after study, whether we're looking at young people or elderly, higher levels of fitness and exercise are associated with lower rates of depression. Now, this doesn't mean that Olympic athletes can't be depressed. They can be and often are. But in general, depression is associated with lower fitness levels. But this leads us to a familiar problem. What causes what? We know that depression produces a sense of low energy and a tendency to be less active. So we can guess that they'd be less inclined to get out of the house or go to the gym. So maybe that explains the association. Depression causes a lack of exercise. But can it go the other way as well? Does poor physical fitness result in increased vulnerability to depression? Well, one way of testing this will be to check people's physical fitness at one time and then see if this predicts the subsequent development of low mood or depression. What do we get? Well, the results are a bit contradictory. Some studies find that active people are at less risk of subsequent depression, so exercise would be a protective factor against depression. Other studies don't find that effect, so it's hard to say. Absolutely no studies, however, show that increased exercise leads to increased depression. Nobody finds that. Now these population-wide studies aren't ideal. Most people don't become seriously depressed, so you need to have a huge population in your study just to ensure you'll have a good number of really depressed people. Or you'll look at mood scores generally to see if there's a difference between exercisers and non-exercisers. But that isn't ideal because this will mainly pick up proneness to the blues, not to clinical depression. So there's another way of looking at it. And that's to take people who are already depressed and randomly assign them to an exercise program or no exercise program. And then see what happens to their mood. We have lots of studies like this. And sure enough, the exercisers virtually always do better. So exercise looks like an effective treatment for depression. As a matter of fact, it seems to be a remarkably powerful treatment. Now, the fact that something is a treatment for a disorder doesn't necessarily mean that the lack of it is a cause for that disorder. But it's at least suggestive. On balance, people treating depression, like me, tend to believe that a sedentary lifestyle, a lack of exercise, and poor physical fitness are risk factors for depression. In fact, we can say that there is a consensus in the field on this matter. And that living an active, engaged life, including physical fitness, is protective. It isn't perfect protection, but it does seem to be some protection. Like any treatment, of course, exercise has side effects. In this case, more energy, stronger body, more active life, lower vulnerability to a wide variety of diseases, and greater longevity. So. What's not to like?